Hey, it's Coach Chris with Hoops King, and today I'm going to take you through some footwork drills. Now, footwork in basketball is so important because you use your feet to get it in a position to use your hands. Because it doesn't matter how great a shooter you are, if you can't move your feet to get open, come off screens, cut, footwork's everything, guys. You gotta have great footwork to get in position to score the ball. And so I'm gonna take you through some drills that Division One teams do, and I got these from the Kentucky Wildcats. I'm gonna show you some of the drills that they do right out on the court to improve their footwork. So as a player or a coach, you can take these drills and apply them to your workouts. Now, one thing I am going to incorporate today is the Hoops King footwork steps. And what these are going to do, and what they do do, is they allow you to place down on the court the exact movement of a player where their feet should be. So it's going to make it much easier when you're teaching your players the more complicated footwork steps in these drills I'm going to show you easier. So it'll make it easier for them to look and visualize and they can step right on the training steps and follow the footwork pattern. And that means they're going to learn the drills quicker, they're going to improve quicker, and they're gonna get quicker on the court quicker. Is that enough quicks for you? I hope so, here we go. All right, the first one we're gonna do is the one leg buzz, and we're just gonna fire our feet off quickly and get to the other end. We're not jumping for length. I'm not trying to jump and go a long way. I'm just trying to fire my feet real quick, real quick, short, explosive movements. Here we go. Then you can walk it back and switch legs. And as a coach or a player, you know, these are great warm up drills too. All right, this is buzz the feet. Chop the steps laterally. So you wanna make sure you move your arms on skier. We're not doing a pogo stick where our arms are straight. So we wanna be moving our arms with us, helping us lift and move quickly down the line. So use those arms so you coordinate your upper and your lower body together. The next footwork drill is called right leg and left leg skier. So we're gonna do one leg at a time. So now we're working not only on quickness, but we're working on firing off of one leg and maintaining our balance also. So you're really working two things. You're working quickness and balance. Balance is important in basketball because you have to be able to stand up. You can't fall over all the time. All right, so maintaining good balance is gonna be important. So here I've set the feet up, the Hoops King footwork steps for right leg skier. So again, this helps me visualize the movement of my feet and which foot I'm using. So this is the right leg. Using the training steps can help young players, especially, and any player that's having trouble at any age, even the pro level, learn footwork patterns a lot easier. So if I was going right leg skier, I'm jumping here, here, and here, just back and forth. And you can adjust these too. So if I want it to be quicker, I'll just move them closer together. And of course, if, as many of these as you have, you can use, but I'm here and I'm down the line. Now, think about this. When you got players standing in a line waiting to go next, so let's say there's a line behind me. The kid that's standing behind me that maybe doesn't have this figured out, he can sit there and see where I'm going to jump and then he'll, that will help him learn faster, not only when he's doing the drill, but when he's observing the drill. So here I go, just gonna go down the entire line quick, right leg skier. And anytime you're doing these drills, it also helps develop core strength. Because as you do these, your core really tightens up 
Kind of like when she felt like somebody's gonna punch you right in the stomach, how you clench your stomach. That's what you're doing in these drills. You're tightening up your core, you're maintaining your balance, and you're getting quicker. Right. Just like when you shoot a right or left-handed leg, you're gonna go off the opposite leg. So we gotta work both legs in our footwork drill. So we're gonna go left leg skier. I got my step set up. I know exactly where to go. Okay, so now I've set up the training steps to do scissors. Now this may look complicated and it does take a little bit of explaining, but I'm gonna start here and I'm scissoring my legs. So my right's forward, my left's back. And so then I'm gonna take my right back and put my left foot forward. So I'd go to here. All right, now my right leg's gonna come to that step and my left leg is gonna, left foot's gonna go back to the left step. So then I'm here and then I'm here. If we're just learning these moves, you don't necessarily need to do them moving. You can do them stationary for a while. So we're gonna go right leg and then left leg. And we'll just go back and forth like that. And we'll get them to drive their arms as well. Okay, so we're gonna drive our arms as we do it. And now they can look down at the steps and see how to do the scissors exactly. Okay, and then we take them down the line. Once they get the hang of this, we can go slower. We can do this, you know, you could even do these steps just flat out slow. You can just step through them. Say scissors, then I'm going here. So you just let them step it until they get the hang of it. And as they get faster, they get faster, they do it like that. And now we can progress down the line, moving our bodies. So you gotta kind of walk before you can run. I don't want to get hunched over as I'm doing this. I want a good balance. I got to keep my chest and head up. All right, here we go. Try to move my feet quickly. Not about jumping a long way. It's about being quick with your feet. All right, this is called the stutter. And I've set the feet up where we're stepping one, two up, one, two back. So just to walk through it with the steps, again, we're just gonna step right, left, step back with our left with our right. We'll lead forward with our right, left, step back with our left, right. And again, you can walk your players through this. Just get them going a little bit faster. You know, they may make mistakes, I may make mistakes. And then we're gonna shorten that up as we get the better feel of it, but it's gonna take time. And that's part of becoming more athletic, developing your foot speed and coordination. Okay, so let's try a little faster with these. All right, let's take a look at stutter full speed. Again, I'm trying to move my feet quick, not really long. I'm trying to fire those feet. Now we're gonna do left in, two out. I've set the steps up to represent my one foot coming in. So my left foot is going to come in the lane and I'm jumping back out of the lane, landing on two. So it's gonna look like this. We'll just go through it real slowly. We're gonna land on one, out on two. Land on one, out on two. Land on one, out on two. And this is developing good balance. I'm learning to fire off one foot, land on balance, and then change direction again. Now we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go off our right leg. You gotta work both sides of your body. So I'm gonna jump off my right leg. I'm gonna land on two in the lane. Jump out with my right leg. Two. One, two. One, two. Basketball is a game of rhythm and this is how you develop your rhythm through your footwork. This is skier hop, and as you can see from the footwork steps, we're gonna jump here, and I'm twisting my body, and I'm turning my feet, and then I'm twisting and turning. Okay, and you kinda imagine you got some ski poles in your arms to help balance you here. So you just go here, 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 and then we're just gonna go down the line quickly. And again, that not only works your feet, it really works your core. You gotta really tighten up that core as you do the skier hop.
Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Now, if you'd like your own Hoops King footwork training steps, just click down in the description or the comments and you can find out all the information you need to know and all the different ways you can use them on our website.